we are going to discuss one of the important topic from nursing that is which related to communication education technology and it is very important topic that is assessment of skills. So, the another meaning of assessment is evaluation. So, here we can call it as assessment or evaluation of a skill. So, if you see the introduction of assessment or evaluation of a skill, assessment or evaluation is daily to daily activities, day to day activities of in our nursing profession. Why? Because this assessment or evaluation only helps us how to, how the students are, how the based on the performance of students, uh, the student drawbacks also we can find and in the same way the progress of teaching. So, whether a teacher is teaching very good, the, two, the student will perform good. If the student is not able to perform good means there is some drawback in the teaching. So, here this assessment or evaluation helps the student first of all to know what is his drawbacks and in the same way it also helps the teachers how to develop a teaching skill for the coming days. So, this is the introduction of assessment of evaluation or uh, teaching skills or skills. So, here if you see the definition of assessment or evaluation according to Ralph Tyler, assessment or evaluation is a process of determining to what extent the educational objectives has been realized. Students, you may think that it is a very small definition, but there is a great meaning in this definition. See, before going to do anything, whether you are going to clinical or whether you are going to a practical or you are going to a community clinical also, you will frame some objectives. In that objectives, you will write, that means objectives are nothing but by completion, what you are going to do, you will write in a paper that may be general objective and specific objective. In general objective, you covers knowledge, attitude and practice. That is about general objective. Objectives means the result sought by the learner and the end of the educational program is called objectives. This is the definition of objectives. This was also given by Ralph Tyler. And in the same way, what is meant by evaluation? There is a, a relationship between objectives and evaluation. Objectives if completed, whether the student met the objectives or not, how the teacher will come to know when he conducts any assessment or evaluation. So, that is the call evaluation or assessment that is nothing but the process of determining to what extent the educational objectives has been realized is called assessment or evaluation. This definition was given by Ralph Tyler and what is objectives? I told you whether you complete the objectives, how much extent you are good in that objectives by conducting assessment or some type of evaluation only conducting we come to know whether the student has completed or not. So, object is nothing but the result sought by the learner at the end of educational program. We frame in the first itself and one by one we will complete to, we will complete in our daily to daily requirements that is called objectives. So, evaluation means assessing this objectives is called or checking this objectives whether the student has realized or not that is called assessment or evaluation definition which was given by Ralph Tyler. So, what is the purpose of assessment or evaluation? Students in the introduction itself I told you what is the purpose? First of all to know the students strengths and weakness and in the same way it also helps the teacher also what is his level of teaching or her level of teaching whether my teaching is effective or not. Uh, that also plays an important role. If the teaching is effective, the student result will be good and in the same way, it also helps us to grasp or to know the short term goals and long term goals. These are some of the important purpose of uh, assessment. And if you see in nursing mainly, there are two types of assessment. Uh, mainly we discuss uh, that is formative assessment and summative assessment. In this formative assessment and in sum summative assessment, if you see the table, you can easily understand. So, before going to discuss about these two type of uh, methods of assessment, we should see the parameters of the uh, assessment. That means, what we are doing in every assessment. In this, the first parameter is meaning. So, what is meant by formative assessment, summative assessment? And in next line, we are seeing what are the purposes of formative assessment and what is the purpose of summative assessment. And in the next one, frequency, when formative assessment can conduct and when summative assessment can conduct. 
and next one is what content we are focusing in format to evaluation or assessment and format to assessment summary to assessment or evaluation and by last parameter is what are the methods we are using to assess the or evaluate the students so easily you can understand by seeing this table what is the table is the first format to assessment means it is conducted uh, you can conduct daily that means it is a ongoing process uh, that is called format to assessment. Then what is summary to assessment? It is conducted at the final exam. For example, you were quarterly, half yearly and university exam come under summary to assessment. The best meaning is summary to means after taking any topic, uh, teacher will summary the entire topic. That means at the last. So here summary to assessment means the last that is your university examination. And next parameter is purpose. What is the purpose? So the purpose is to know the drawbacks, to know the what extends the student is gaining the knowledge and it helps us to provide the feedback. For example, in the college itself, if you are writing internal assessment, where the drawbacks is there, we can guide you. But if you go to some assessment directly, we cannot guide you because it is a uh, gunshot. You, if you, what you write, you will get that marks and your result is that is final. So we do not have chance to guide you in the summative assessment. So, but here in formative assessment, we can guide you. Why? Because we are conducting the assessment in the college, that is internal examination, slip test, unit test like this. That means it will provide feedback to the students and we can correct the students. And next one is frequency, when we can conduct. It can be conducted on daily basis and weekly basis. So, that is our wish, that is depends upon the teacher and uh, when the summative assessment is conducted at the end of the year, that is maybe midterm or half term or final term. And this is the uh, frequency of conducting format to and summative to assessment. And next one, content focus. It content, it focus on the uh, small, small things. So, for 2 units, 3 units, 4 units, less content. Summative to assessment is on whole, whole syllabus. We can focus on the summative to assessment. So, next. What are the methods we use? There are different methods of format assessment like assess, uh, assignment, slip test, unit test. But what is the methods we can use for uh, uh, summative assessment is uh, pract uh, practical exams, clinical examinations, your internal, uh, your uh, uh, last final practical examinations and these are the methods we can use in summative assessment. And after this, we are going to see what are the me uh, different types of skills we are going to assess in the nursing. Mainly, I told you according to objectives, we are having knowledge, attitude and practice. So, to assess the knowledge, what are all the tools or techniques we are having? To assess the attitude, what are the tools and what are the techniques we use? To assess the practice or practical skills of a nursing student, what tools we use? So, we are going to discuss now in this table. So, to assess the knowledge, we are having many tools like uh, essay writing, uh, short answer type, fill in the blanks, statement completing, multiple choice questions and uh, these are the different types of uh, tools or techniques we use to assess the knowledge of a student. And the next column is about practical skills. What we use to assess your practical skills? The first one is anodatal record. What is meant by anodatal record? Anodatal record is nothing but a verbal shot of an incident. So, when you go to clinicals, we will come to rounds. For what purpose? What is your clinical performance? How you are doing bedside procedures? All those things. By observation, by observation, we will do you do the assessment. That is called anodatal. That is nothing but the verbal shot of an incident is called anodatal record. And next one is observation checklist. Observation list, practice checklist and different types of tools are having to assess the practical things. And one of the important thing is OPSC. That is nothing but objective uh, practical structured examination and OSC, objective structured clinical examination. These are the different types we are having to assess the uh, students practical skills. Mainly you are having some practicals like uh, procedures like bedside, like back, uh, what is that? Uh, injections, procedure, uh, high we cannulas and some different types of procedures are there in bedside. So, that procedures how we are performing that we will do by this using this uh, assessment tools like practice checklist and observation test and uh, OPSC, OSC, anodatal record these are the different types and last one is attitude. So, students what is attitude before going to discuss what tools or techniques we use to check the attitude. See students Indians are uh, what is that? literates but not educators. 
Why I am saying this statement? Because we all know that we should not throw dust or waste paper on the premises of the college or in the classroom. But what we will do? That is knowledge. But what we will do? We are having knowledge, but we will not implement in our daily practical life. So when we can implement, when your knowledge reflects your attitude and that reflects your practice. So then and only, so if you combine, if you get all these three objectives, only you are educated. Literate is nothing but to show just for statistic purpose, uh, I am literate, I am educated, I am educated. But what is education means? If a person is having all these three domains of education, that is knowledge, attitude and practice. So knowledge should reflect your attitude, attitude should reflect your practice. So throwing dust in the dustbin is knowledge, but we will not do that. Why? Because our attitude is not right. So if our attitude is not right, we will not practice in our daily life. So our knowledge should reflect on these two aspects. So what we will do to assess your attitude? That is Likert scale, 5 point Likert scale, rating scale is there. There are different types of rating uh, scales to assess the attitude of a student. So by this class, we, are, we discussed about what is assessment or evaluation and what is the definition of assessment or evaluation, what is the purpose of assessment or, or evaluation and what are the different types of assessments we are having in nursing or different types of evaluation methods we are having that is formative assessment and summative assessment in that we have seen the parameters what to see like meaning and frequency, what content and what are the methods we will use to do formative assessment and summative assessment in the same way what tools or techniques we will use to check the knowledge, to, to check the practice and to assess the attitude. So I hope you understand this class and in next class we will come with one more topic. Thank you, take care, be safe.